Hello guys, welcome to my next YouTube tutorial of database management system. So in our previous video, we discussed about MySQL operators like AND, OR, BETWEEN, AND, etc. So in this video, I'm going to tell you about the nested queries, like how we can get the data using nested queries. So nested queries are the query within a query. So nested query is a query within a query. So we are going to write one query in that we are going to write one more query within the same query. So let's start with opening our uh, Turbo, uh, this MySQL 5.5 command line client application. So you can see here after giving the root password, it will enter to the database. Now I'm going to use the uh, database which I created in our first video that is company one. So you can see here the database has changed. So after the database has changed, I'm using the general query statement that is select star from employee so that we can get the data which we inserted here now here I am giving as department then here I am giving it as dependent so I have described three tables so as you can see here I have inserted one value extra value here that is Amir S. Iqbal and with the one SS SSN of 1005 and you can see it does not exist in these two tables or anywhere it does exist only in this table i have inserted this value to do one query one nested query here so let's start with our queries so our first query is a uh, select f name comma l name comma salary from employee from employee where where salary is where salary is less than all means here everything needs to be correct means all the conditions should be true that's why we are using all here so here i'm writing one nested query that is select salary from uh, from employee where f name or you can use SSN is equal to 1003 so you can see here after pressing enter I'll get the output I got uh, Harry Spectra and Amir Iqbal so uh, let me tell you how this query is working so select salary from employee where SSN is 1003 so the person with the SSN 1003 is Rachina with the salary 15,200 so it is saying select f name and l name and salary from employee where salary is less than 15200 because the output of this query is 15200 so the salary which is less than 15200 is 15000 and 14000 so i got the two people who have salary less than uh, this so let's go to our next query that is uh, select f name and here I'll, I'm taking SSN so select F name and SSN from employee where here I'm taking DNO where DNO is equal to so here I'm writing the query select DNO from employee where I'll take your F name where f name is equal to john so you can see after pressing enter i'll get the output i got john 1000 so let me tell you how this is working to so select dno from employee where f name is john so f name is john whose dno is one so i got dno one so it is saying select f name and ssn from employee where dno is equal to one so the person with the dno is equal to one is john because output of this query is one so I got F name and SSN of that particular person. So let's go to our next query that is select F name and SSN from employee where again I'm taking here salary where salary is greater than. So now I'm writing the uh, inside query means a nested query. So it is uh, writing select it says select salary from employee where f name is, is equal to rachna 
where f name is Rachna. So you can see after pressing enter, I got the output to two outputs I got. So let me tell you how this is working. So select salary from employee where f name is Rachna. So it has selected the salary of Rachna that is 15,200. So now it is saying select F name and SSN from employer where salary is greater than 15,200. So because the output of this query is 15,200. So there are only two people with the salary uh, more than 15,200. That and 1,25,000. That is John and Jessica. And I got the F name and SSN of those people. So now comes your exist and non exist query. So here I'm writing select f name from a l name from employee where not exist where it does not where that particular value does not exist so here i'm writing the inside query that is select Select star from dependent where uh, so here I'm taking where SSN is equal to DESSN. So here I'm terminating it. So you can see here it is uh, what it how is the how is it working select star from dependent where SSN is equal to DSS. So it is uh, uh, selecting everything where ssn is equal to dssn so it says not exist so here it is matching with everything here you can see here with the dependent till 1004 it is matching but after 1004 it is not matching because one in, in a value which i have entered in employee table is not present in any of these tables so which does not exist is amar iqbal same i'm going to write with exist so here i will remove not so here which exist these are the only which exist so this is not here because it does not exist in dependent table so this was all about your nested queries how you can retrieve the data using nested queries so thank you guys for watching this video and don't forget to like and subscribe our channel for further updates